Hi, I'm Navita. I'm a second year medical student at the Royal College of Surgeons, Ireland. So I've come here to represent Ireland in Youth of the World staff training. And it's an absolute honor to be here. Hello, Navita. Tell me more about what happened to you when you were 16. Well, I got the opportunity to represent India to uh, the States for NASA space program. Yes. And consecutively, I went to Ireland. Uh, for the leadership conference mm -hmm. where I was given the opportunity to consider global education and move to Ireland for that matter. So when I told my father about this, he was hesitant because it's a new country. Of course. <laughs> exactly. And later, after convincing for a year, he came to Ireland to see the country and how it is during my module 2 of leadership training. And he was convinced that the country was safe and people were very friendly and yeah. it was accommodating. So I love the hospitality and culture anyway. So I moved to Ireland for my high school yeah. and then I got into medical school and I'm a third year medical student in training. What you are doing now in Ireland? So I've been involved predominantly with the Irish Red Cross, uh, the, uh, another or youth developmental organization mm -hmm. called Coroiga and uh, the National Youth Council of Ireland. Mm -hmm. So these are my extracurricular activities. So apart from medicine, because medicine is itself is a huge subject, yes. it is complex on its own, yeah. but we can always find time to other extracurricular activities yes. to have a direct impact on the youth, on different parts of the community mm -hmm. in terms of the tra travelers or the homeless people or yes. like the refugees. And uh, so I'm predominantly involved with these things and I represent Ireland to the British Red Cross to uh, Brussels recently with the National Youth Council of Ireland where I got the opportunity to go talk to the OHCHR wow. and it was an incredible opportunity to widen my perspectives on a global level mm -hmm. and yeah so that's my area of work it's nice it's nice what your association that you are presenting is doing can you briefly explain us so the association that I'm representing today is developmental perspectives and we are involved in vastly different opportunities of the sustainable developmental goals where we give different challenges uh, in terms of the different aspects of the sustainable development goals in different parts of Ireland. So for instance, we would have Carlo, which is talking about the peace and justice aspect of it. And in terms of Limerick, which talks about the uh, no poverty aspect of the sustainable development goals. And we also have the TV series mm -hmm. where we go across different parts of the country, Tanzania and different parts of the world. And we would be talking about the medical missionaries of Mary Robinson. It's nice, it's nice. And uh, can you please uh, uh, tell to our audience more about uh, challenge objective? Can you, uh, yearly objective and uh, um, time objective, can you please explain us more about this? In terms of the social media, where we would advertise different opportunities to young people, and the challenge is to address to the needs of different parts of the community, not just the people who are already actively involved in the community. Mm -hmm. In terms of the uh, travelers community who are displaced in different parts of Ireland and they might not be exposed to this opportunity in terms of the social media. So that is a drawback and we should address it in conventional terms in terms of posters, pamphlets and word of mouth from friends mm -hmm. and uniting them and not excluding any uh, minority in the community. Thank you very much for uh, your time, for uh, your speech.